let us understand about matter in this video now in order to qualify as a matter there are two things which are essential one is occupying space and second is having mass so anything which occupies space and has mass is known as matter now let's take a example let's say gold let's say sugar let's say air let's say water all these elements occupy space okay and they have mass so they constitute matter whereas certain intangible things like love affection friendship they do not occupy space they do occupy space in your personal life that's what you say but they do not occupy the space in which it is meant in chemistry and definitely they do not have any mass so they do not constitute matter okay now matter according according to the scientist is divided on two counts one based on their physical properties okay and the second based on their chemical properties when we say physical properties what do you mean it basically mean the appearance so this could be solid this could be liquids okay this could be gases so you can know each one of them separately by way of their physical properties now chemically they are divided into elements compounds and mixtures right we'll study each one of them in details in subsequent videos but that is how matter is basically done now one other important thing with that one needs to know is that matter is made of small tiny pieces called particles so these particles are there in all the matter so if even if you take cube of sugar it is also made of different particles which kind of combine together do a bonding and then make a small cube of sugar water again is made of various particles so particles are basically the small pieces of which the matter is composed of okay